No. Anything but that. Anything but that. Please. Yo, guys, welcome to my new show. Baked. Well, that. No. Please. Three man, mystery man, unfold your sunglasses and react for the fam. No, you can go back to the other stuff. Other stuff. Yeah, I don't wanna. Forty minutes. I'm a psychopath. No, no, me. What's up guys? Progress YT is a big fat fucking moron here. <laughs> That's coming from me. You know, if there's one thing that I love more than most things is the irrelevant. Or, more specifically, things that become irrelevant. Things that were relevant once upon a time and they fall off the rails and then boom goes the dynamite, you're fucked. This tastes horrible. Sometimes people do the irrational to become relevant again because they find out that their viewer base has fallen off completely. This person's made the same content for 10 years and has not improved a single bit. What ungodly thing am I talking about? Well, over to the studio. Hi! <laughs> Welcome to another Making a Criticism Sandwich. On today's menu, we're making... Bart Barker. That's of course not to be confused with uh, Brock Baker, even though the... Uh... Yo mom is so fat! Not even Ninja could carry her in Fortnite. Yikes. Bart Barker, for those who don't know, is from an era of YouTube when Smosh was the number one subscribed YouTube channel. He also never escaped that Smosh mentality. A lot like Smosh, and look how that turned out. <laughs> and churning out the most god awful. Parodies I've ever seen, ranging from a Little Uzi, a Little Pump, Nicki Minaj, and whatever genre Taylor Swift is from. Parodies, especially YouTube ones, of the original trending topic videos. The most annoying part is that they could uh, be easily and marginally improved. On top of the shit piles of that, there's surprisingly worse stuff there. Here's one for example. Spoiler alert. It's a uh, clickbait. Let's dissect this really quick. A 34-year-old man desperately tried to act and sound exactly like the Paul brothers. I issued a very candid and sincere apology. It was a really bad prolapse in my judgment. Gold chain, missile metal, in. Not Taylor Swift, not her house. Simple Google search will fix that one for you. Holy shit, is that a girl in a bra? Really hope all the 14 year olds have their cocks out for that one. Well, why am I being demonetized? Hope flame, fake gun, fake sound effect. What the f are you Wow, this acting. It wasn't a prank, bro! Did you I see don't know. This? Just go back to your house. I'm going! I'm not getting f***ing killed because of your stupid ass videos, man. Taylor Swift f***ing shoots machine guns at trespassers? What? Can we just blow through the red lights? It's kind of life or death. I can't blow through the red lights, it'll come even worse! And the award for horrible acting goes to Bart Barker, my man. Absolute props for you for branching out to new other content, but fuck me, that's not the right approach. Next, we have the obligatory <laughs> YouTuber shutting down my channel YouTube video that most YouTubers had. Now, when you've made an enterprise on uh, bad parodies, then you are bound to have your shortcomings by putting all your eggs in one basket. We all know Logan Paul's channel was removed from Preferred for, well, y you guys know why. My channel was removed from Preferred because, um... There's something about your nipple. I flirted with a lot of men for this video, and it was very scarring. Ah! Uh, didn't even. Time's over. I wonder why. Honestly, I don't know. YouTube never told me why. But I think if you fished out the monetized views from your multi-millions of them and used it for more content, you would have pulled yourself out of that hole. But no, blame the system, it's easier that way, everyone else is doing it, so. And finally, the creme a la creme. The fossil and the grace, the foundation, which gave a lot of people attention towards YouTube. The parody songs, the epitome of early YouTube. 
let me show you flawless efforts. Oh my god, man, have you heard yourself rap? Helen Keller with some better on the mic, that's a fact! Well, if she ain't fucking on to cut, she make a give my friend a blow. And we would like to know if Maddie gets naked. This video's so dark, you can barely see me. There's no lighting. Now you can see that I'm singing, but my mouth is barely moving. You see, the thing is with these is that they're usually shot better than the original. It's clear to see that a lot of money goes into these. But, <laughs> as uh, most Netflix series and most recent movies will show you, most money that goes into films doesn't mean it's a good film. And I'm in no way saying that Bart Barker makes feature-length masterpieces, or is attempting to, I'm saying that it's an expensive shoot, obviously. You can tell by the set design and the lens quality that these could be easily improved. Just take the what the buck wanna be out of there and you're fucking completely fine. You see, these lines could be easily improved if they weren't just like god-awful jab at the person that he's trying to be. What video am I talking about? Exactly. All of them. Improve and never settle for mediocrity. Back to you, Stefan. It's cold. It's just cold, okay? That's... Why'd you put the gayest name? Anyway. Yeah, 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 he comes from a different time, okay? And I don't mean because he's old, I mean a different time on YouTube, where it used to be the practice ground before you went out in the real world, become an actor or a filmmaker, so on and so forth. That's before... <laughs> Gaming took over! The good old days before people abused the system, before YouTube abused the YouTubers. I can easily predict that Bart Barker, once upon a time, Wanted to be an actor or a director, or maybe a filmmaker, maybe something even low as SNL, or something equivalently in brain dead humor, but then he settled for mediocrity. The passion is there. You can see that, 100%. But it's not good delivery. And I'm pretty sure anyone would agree easily. Rework your take on things and you'll find something far more superior than a quick bug from a trending song. Be smarter with your money, be true to yourself and your content, and you'll find something worth fighting for. The same reason I don't like Bart Barker is the same reason I don't like American Horror Story. Everything is there. You have set design, you have a plot, you have supporting actors that do a lot more than supporting. But the writing is so gosh dang terrible, I don't know why... why why is no one pointing that out? The writing for any production is the bare bones. The stronger your script is, the stronger your production is. You can't have a body without bones. Okay? That's what I'm saying. It's Halloween soon. Merry Christmas. Now, I don't hate Bart, nor can I really last more than three seconds of his content without really trying to sit through his videos, but there's a form of reality that's falsely being portrayed. Especially with these thumbnails. <laughs> Yeesh! There's a good parody. My music is 200 years old and it's still excellent. And then there's a bad parody. Your actors aren't in sync with your over-the-top crazy that you're trying to portray. These actors are trying to be actors and you're being smosh. That is a lack of direction. Good direction, that is. And also a lack of good acting. Which we all know you're not good at. Okay. Wow! Talk about projecting! Anyway, guys, that'll do it for me. Um...